Hello and welcome to the Art Museum of West Virginia University's Museum from Home series. For those of you who are joining for the first time, my name is Heather Harris and I'm the museum's educational programs manager. And for those of you who've tuned in before, welcome back. We're very happy to have you. So before we continue, I'd like to share a bit of good news, which is that our exhibition, Brilliant Recent Acquisitions to the Permanent Collection, has officially been extended through December 6th of 2020. So if you haven't seen it in person yet, you haven't missed the opportunity, and we will be very happy to welcome you in the galleries once it is safe to do so. But until that time, we will continue to give you some information and sneak peeks, inside looks at the works of art that are on display in that exhibition. Today, we are going to look at a print by Martin Purrier. Purrier is an African-American artist best known for minimalist sculpture. But like I said, today we're going to look at this print. So take a minute and think about what you see. When I've talked to people about it, I've heard answers that include a jump rope, a beaded necklace, or even a robot's legs. Now see if you can brainstorm three or four more possibilities. Or better yet, if you are with someone at home, have a contest to see who can see the most things in the print. All right, did everyone come up with something? And the beauty of abstract art is that each of these interpretations can be entertained and help us to make sense of what we are seeing. Now, in the case of this print, it is actually inspired by another work of art by the same artist. Remember how I told you that Purrier was best known for minimalist sculpture? Well, this print is inspired by a sculpture that was installed at the U.S. Embassy in Beijing in 2018. This massive sculpture is part of a program called the Foundation for Art and Preservation in Embassies, or FAPE. FAPE provides works of art, or, of art by U.S. artists to embassies worldwide with the aim of furthering diplomacy through arts and education. The sculpture is called Connecting, with the artist making explicit and tangible the embassy's role in bringing people from different nations together. As part of his artistic process for creating this 31-foot, three-dimensional work in steel and granite, Purrier made a series of two-dimensional prints showing different perspectives on the artwork. One of these prints is called From Above, Another End, and the one we have here in our collection is called Side because it, you guessed it, shows connecting from the side. So now that we've talked about what inspired the artwork, let's return to that theme of connection. One of the hardest things about social distancing is that it is sometimes easy to feel disconnected. We don't have access to the places and people we usually do. However, if there is one thing that the last few weeks have taught us, it is that there are lots of different ways to connect and lots of different high-tech and low-tech ways to reach out. So now, just like I asked you to brainstorm different interpretations of Courier's print, I'm going to ask you to brainstorm different ways you feel connected, even in this strange time. You can write a list or just take a moment of pause to think. Even better, you can get creative. Take a cue from Courier and make your own artwork titled Connecting. Maybe it's a sculpture from items you find around your home or maybe a watercolor of your computer screen during your latest Zoom session. As part of our effort to stay connected to you, we'd love to hear what some of these things are or to see your artwork. So feel free to post in the comments below and connect by responding to one another. We look forward to hearing from you. Goodbye for now and be well.